Welcome to Season 2. This is an entertainment channel, not a how-to channel. I'm still new to turning, so if you see something, say something in the comments below. Hey, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, I've got a piece of PSL wood. <laughs> this is basically uh, plywood, uh, particle board, I don't know. I got this from Louis over at Woodworking 220-7. If you haven't checked out his channel, uh, you should check it out. He made a couple of pieces out of this wood and I thought it turned out great. I mentioned I, I need to get some of this and he sent this to me. So thanks, Louis. I really appreciate that. Um, I'm going to try and make a semi-deep dish bowl out of this, if you will, and um, we're going to cap it with a segmented ring. I've got this piece of what I think is black walnut. Uh, I'm going to make some segments out of this, glue it together. We're going to put that on top to accent this piece. So yeah, that's the plan. Let's get started and see how it turns out. My concern is right here, peeling like too much of it off, and right here. So on each, I guess that'd be end grain, uh, cut, peeling that back. I guess we'll find out. And I haven't checked this yet. Let's see what kind of speed we can get out of it. That's not bad. I mean, 700, let's, let's go there and see what happens. So I have this void. How do I uh, how do I explain this to you here? I have this void right here. You can see this goes in fairly deep, but it's in there pretty strong. Like I can't pop it off by pulling on it. There's also these voids here. Um, yeah, I don't think, hmm, can I fill those with CA glue maybe, is it worth it, do I bother, that's the question, I'm thinking lacquer finish will help seal a lot of these holes up, but I'm not going to be able to do much with this piece here. But I am thinking lacquer finish will help fill those holes in.
Well, there it is, all done. Look at this beautiful shine on there. I went with a lacquer finish. I don't know, just something different. And this ended up being black walnut. I could tell by the smell of chocolate. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. If you've turned black walnut, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The chatoyance in this is a beautiful, and we'll look at that a little closer. Let's check it out. Oh, this, this turned out fantastic. This bowl is no stranger to chatoyance, even though it's PSL. This here, which would be considered like the uh, side grain, I guess, has chatoyance on it, as well as this side over here. Uh, and every segment has chatoyance, not only on the outside edge, but also on the inside edge. Look at that chatoyance through there. Isn't that beautiful? It's gorgeous. This is fantastic. I, this first attempt at making a segment of any kind, um, I decided to go cha challenge myself to not do something with an even segment. This is seven segments, not eight. And uh, yeah, I think it turned out great. Um, we usually start off at the bottom, so let's get to the bottom here. I put in a pretty uh, wide mortise and left the edge pretty thick because I was worried about the particle board here kind of splitting, but it held together. Um, nothing else fancy about it, but you can kind of see how it's, it's just basically like plywood. And the shape of, the, of that PSL is just so unique. It's, it's almost like a burl. The only problem is these voids, and I wasn't sure if I wanted to fill them in or not, I chose not to, mainly because, well, if I'd filled them in and then carved it back, I'd probably pull out the filling. <laughs> so it was just, there was just voids all over and I just chose not to fill them in, but it's still fairly smooth with that lacquer on there. And the bottom had a huge void, but instead of carving it out and finding another void, I decided to stop because I was worried about getting too thin on the bottom here. But uh, other than that, just, a fantastic little bowl. I love the shape of this and the look of this black walnut segment. It's fantastic. Oh, what a beautiful piece. This turned out great, but the best part of it is I cut this PSL in half, so I've got two pieces of it. Well, this is one piece. The other piece is over there. I can use on another project. Uh, thanks again to Louie. There's his sticker right there. If you haven't seen his channel, link up here in the corner and down in the description below. You should definitely check him out. He puts together some beautiful stuff. And uh, again, thank you, Louie, for this. This is fantastic. Turned out great. I really like this. I hope you liked it. If you did, consider hitting that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And that notification bell. Thank you very much for giving me a turn on your screen. And we'll see you next week. It's beautiful. Uh, is this is this working? Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, it's working. Okay, so. No, ah! I dropped it. Oh, crikey! This I don't mind, that I don't mind. This looks tight, but that little section right here doesn't look very tight at all. <laughs> I think I might have to take that down a little bit. <clears throat> I'm actually thinking of making this bowl a little narrow, a little thinner. Maybe parting it off right about there. Usually people go with like six or eight or what have you. Toilet flushing. <laughs> Let's start the world over again.